Seasonic, the heart of your system. I'm Neil Walder for Kit Guru here with Azus in the days before IFA kicks off in Berlin 2019. Uh, that's why I'm wearing this uh, very nice little Azus wristband to do their 30th anniversary. It's what gets you in the door. Without it, you don't get in. I'm starting in the corner of their quite large room, a lot of people, a lot of kit, where we're showing off their uh, Republic of Gamers ROG Phone 2 because they very kindly showed us some design pictures and then broken it down. So behind you've got some components and such like, which is quite neat. The other reason for starting here with the ROG gear is because nothing else in this room is ROG. It's all Zenbook and it's all pro art. It's all for professionals. So this is the only ROG stuff I've actually spotted so far. But the ROG phones, they look like fun. This is fairly self-explanatory, but you can see the various stages that Azus went through and they were doing the R&D and the design, primarily the design of the ROG uh, phone. So we've got the mock-up of the various cases. I can see eight there, different coatings to give it a different feel. And then as we move across, we've got the aluminium casing through the various stages of machining. Components inside, triggers, cooling solution. Cooling is a huge part of a modern phone, as obviously the antennae, because without as a blooming thing doesn't work. And then we get yet more of the aesthetics. So decorative rings, film design and such like. We know in our heart of hearts these companies put a massive effort into how the thing looks, feels, packaging and such like. It's interesting to see that this is what Azus is showing us. You know that really they did hundreds if not thousands of trial runs. The middle of the room is full of Zen books and Vivo books. We're familiar with these. So for example, Vivo Book S14, Core i7, MX250 graphics. Uh, you will note there the touchpad which has in this instance Candy Crush. We saw that at Computex, so this we're familiar with. What I'm much more interested in, however, is the Pro Art gear, which is at the edge of the room. There are a great many screens uh, in this room. So, for example, Pro Art, and then as ever in Azus model name, PA 329C, 32 inch, and 600 nits of peak brightness. Some of the other panels are far brighter, they're for HDR. They can be up to 1600 peak and 1000 average. Relatively speaking, this has got an average brightness level. But it's big, it's impressive. We don't have prices on any of these products at the moment. You know they're going to be horribly expensive. But this is the thing to bear in mind. Display HDR 600, that relates to the brightness. And there are a number of different HDR ratings. This particular one, relatively speaking, is down the pecking order. I've been waiting literally 15 minutes to get my mitts on this. The ProArt Studio Book 1. Uh, brand new and more to the point it's got Quadro RTX 6000 graphics. If you buy that as a graphics card, an actual PCI Express graphics card, you're looking at £8,000. Combination of CPU and GPU and the CPU is a 9900HK Core i9 so that's 8 core 16 thread running at a base speed 2.4 which is all housed in here, we'll come to that in a second. Combination of CPU and GPU 300 watts. Uh, there's talk about the cooling system using titanium rather than copper, which is just extraordinary and a world's first. If we crank the screen forward a bit, we'll see the hardware is actually in the lid. Now, the laptop itself is hefty and it feels like the base is a solid slab of metal just by the heft of it. But this is all about the cooling and the hardware being in the lid as a way of getting heat away from the screen and more to the point avoiding burning your thighs if the laptop's literally used as a laptop. So the extraordinary thing is it's very thin and light in the base, well not thin and light, it's thin in the base and slab like with a short travel keyboard actually and then we open the screen and we've got the cooling vents. Now at the moment you won't be surprised to learn that Azus is not talking turkey about pricing. However, we've heard indications this could be as much as £10,000. But then if you think the RTX 6000 graphics as a graphics card, 8000 or so, then 10000 for the laptop is absolutely nothing. But this as it sits is it's quite unique. The form factor with the hardware in the lid, that's just extraordinary, never seen like it. it seems to make perfect sense. But the power, the grunt of this laptop is just mind-boggling, obviously on paper, because we've not used it. But right now, this is just setting new standards. So the brand new graphics, we are seeing uh, various other Quadro RTXs, for example, in the Acer Concept D hardware. But this laptop is the first to use the RTX 6000 Quadro 
in a laptop. In the normal course of events, this Pro Art Studio Book Pro 17 is the sort of thing that would definitely be of interest to me. It's got a Xeon, it's got Quadro the RTX 3000 Max Q graphics, it's got Thunderbolt 3, 17 inch screen. The sort of laptop I'd love to bring to a show such as Eve so I can uh, edit videos back in the hotel room easily. Look at it, it's a powerhouse. However, in the context of what's on this desk, this laptop is of no interest whatsoever. It's all about this Pro Art monitor, PA32 UCG. Significant point being, 32 inches, hence the 32, HDR 1600 and 120 hertz re uh, variable refresh rate. That HDR 1600 figure is mind boggling, world's first. Now that's going to be peak brightness. Sustained brightness is more like a thousand nits, but you're still talking substantial. But this is what HDR is all about at the moment. That rating is out of this world. Another innovation from ASUS, 27-inch 4K HDR IPS. This is the ProArt PA27 UCX. Significant thing being here is mini LED backlight. I wouldn't begin to guess at the price of this display, but the feature here is the mini LED backlights. And certainly here under actually quite reasonable lighting conditions, it looks gorgeous. We're finishing up with the StudioBook Pro X, which is a conventional laptop with most of the hardware of that monstrous one that we saw, which has the complete innovative system where all the hardware is in the lid of the chassis. So this is a conventional laptop. I'm going to speculate the pricing here is four to five thousand pounds. It's going to be a lot of money. RTX 5000 Quadro. So that as a graphics card is about five or so thousand pounds. The StudioBook Pro X is a conventional laptop with a load of good hardware inside. The one on the other hand, is it a completely different league. It's a unique concept, and it's got hardware we've never seen before in anything resembling a laptop. Before we arrived at the ASUS event, I assumed it was going to be wall-to-wall -wall ice lakes. 10th gen, 10 nanometer, thin and light, low power. Could not have been further from the truth. It's all about pro art, really high resolution, HDR monitors, really grunty laptops and some workstations. Loads of good stuff here and some is truly innovative and horribly expensive, I'm quite sure of that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button, return to Kit Guru, let you know about new videos as they become available. I'm Neil Wood for Kit Guru here with Azus at IFA Berlin 2019.